Okay, now we're going to go over another question. We're going to go over problem eight from the 3.3 uh, dimensional anal uh, analysis practice uh, number one. And the question reads, Chicago uses 1.2 times 10 to the ninth gallons of water per day. How many gallons per second must be pumped from the lake every second to supply the city? Okay, so... How many gallons must be pumped every second? So they need this amount right here for each day. So we have to break this down into how many gallons per second instead of per day. So they need this. They have the total amount. So that's what we're going to start off with. Okay. So we're going to have this is per day. And we need to change days into seconds. So. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with what we have in our problem. Here's our number that we have. This is gallons of water per day. So we're going to go ahead and put 1.2. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this or copy this. And we're just going to put that in there, paste. Okay. And then we're going to put uh, our times. And we're going to put our line like we always do. But one thing that we're going to do is we're going to put something below this. Okay, so because this is gallons of water per day. So we're going to underline this right here. And on the bottom here, we're going to put down one A. So we need it per second though. So since I have gallons on the top, we're not we're looking to change this because we want to know, I still know how many gallons. So we're looking to change one per day. So in order to get rid of days, I gotta put days up here. So we're going to take this right here and we're gonna put one day, okay? And we're gonna underline that, oops. And we're going to underline that. There we go. And I can put that there. Uh, the problem is, do we know how many seconds are in a day? Well, I don't, but I do know how many hours are in a day. So we're going to go ahead and tap that over. And we're going to put 24 hours. But I'm not at seconds. So what I have to do is I have to go ahead and put my next times. And we're going to put uh, the next thing. And so since I have it now in hours, I got to put hours up here. And do you know how many seconds are in an hour? Well, I don't. So I'm going to put minutes. So I'm going to put on the top. I'm going to, I have to get rid of hours. So we're going to have one hour. Okay. And then we're going to highlight that again. And... We're going to underline it. Then on the bottom, we're going to put down uh, minutes. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And real quick here, I'm just going to change this color all to black. OK. And we're going to go ahead and put our next time. So now we got to get from minutes the seconds. So I have minutes on the bottom. That means I need to have uh, minutes on the top. So we're going to underline this again. And we're going to say there are in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So now I go, go ahead and look at it. I have days, my days, I can cross my days off. So I'm going to actually come back over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna get rid of, strike through and get rid of this. Strike through, there's my days. I can do my hours also. So I'll get rid of this hour, strike through. Get rid of this one. 
got rid of those two. Now I can get rid of my minutes since I have them on top and bottom. Straight through. And straight through. Now I have it in seconds. That's going to be per, it's on the bottom, so it's going to be per second. So we can go ahead and, and do our math. So we'll pull up the calculator again. And we're going to do, we're going to save this to the end. So we're going to do 1.2 divided by 24 divided by 60 divided by 60. So we're going to take that and we're going to, in our calculator, we have 1.2 divided by 24 divided by 60 divided by and that's a negative, so we're going to move that this way that many places. Okay, so we're going to end up really with a number of 0.12341, and what did the calculator say again? Uh, 38 repeating. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because I have the negative 5, and that's going to be uh, 3888. Times 10 to the, all right, so we're going to take this right here, and we're going to copy it, we're going to put it over here, and we're going to uh, paste it, and I'm going to take the underline off it, so it's the underline, oops. Okay, so there's our answer. We should know that that's going to be in uh gallons per second okay but that's not written in correct scientific notation so what we're going to do is we're going to change this to correct scientific notation which means that i'm going to move the decimal how many places five so it's going to go one two three four five so i'm going to end up with uh one point three and at the, I'm also going to round two significant digit, digits. So I'm going to put that there, and it's going to be 1.4. Uh, and that's going to be times 10. And I'm going to paste that, but it's not 9. I moved it over here, so I made this number larger. That means I make this one smaller by 5. And so we're going to subtract 5 from that. And so 9 minus 5 is 4. And then it's going to be gallons per second. And I probably should have that uh, not in subscript. So we're a superscript, excuse me. So we put that right there. So it's going to be gallons per second. And since that's my final answer, we're just going to go ahead and highlight that one. And there would be our final answer, 1.4 times 10 to the fourth gallons per second.